Welcome Advantage Associate. This short video will outline some general best practices for the upcoming Revlon Almay reset in Walmart stores. You'll begin by locating the Revlon section, which is eight feet in this particular location. Next, you'll locate the Almay section, which may or may not be adjacent to the Revlon section. In this location, it's a four foot section. Once you've located both sections, you'll wanna locate your materials in the back room. The shipment should arrive in one large box containing several smaller boxes. In this location, the department manager has already broken down that larger box. You may also experience a scenario. When working in the back room, you should also make sure to check for boxes up in the steel. If you locate a box up in the steel, it's your responsibility to work with store management to bring that box down. It's important that you work with the store to bring this box out of the steel and not take that responsibility on on your own. Bring all your boxes to the sales floor. You should be able to utilize a cart for this portion of work. You'll notice that all boxes are clearly labeled. This is labeled to be opened first. You'll also receive boxes of graphics for both bullnose and panel and replacement part graphics. You'll notice there's a column and row number called out on some of the box labels that calls out where in the planogram the new tray is to be located. All trays are packaged carefully within multiple boxes to ensure that they maintain their integrity and nothing is damaged in shipment. You can see that the trays come pre-assembled. This particular tray is a replacement tray and does not come with graphics. Your new trays should come with graphics already installed. In the event that you need to disassemble or reassemble a tray, in case it does not come assembled, you simply snap all the pieces together. Ensure that you utilize your Revlon manual when assembling trays to ensure that you have all the parts and pieces required. Once you've assembled the body of the tray, it's time to install the price rail, which slides easily over the graphic on the bull nose. And here we have a completed tray. There are three main components to every tray. The first is the base. The second is the pushers. And lastly, that price rail that we installed a moment ago. The base and the trays fit together rather easily. The base is keyholed and the, and the bottom of the trays have a notch that makes assembly extremely easy. The base is critical because that allows the trays to be mounted to the louvered uprights. This is an example of an installed tray on the louvered uprights. You'll also receive a box of graphics. Within that graphic box will be clear covers for bold nose graphics. You should receive a pack of 10. These clear plastic covers slip over the graphic that's installed in the bullnose and allows customers to test products before purchase. You should have received some additional clear plastic bullnose graphic covers, which can be used in the event that any clear cover needs to be replaced in the section. Replacing those clear bullnose graphic covers really cleans up the look of the section. Here we have one of our newly installed trays and the product installed. Next, can work to properly install header graphics. The header graphics install to the louvered upright similarly to the trays. Here we have an example of a header that has been removed. You'll note 
that there is a bracket on both the left and the right side, it's important that you orient this bracket correctly when reinstalling. Here we have an overhead look of what those headers look like installed in these louvered sections. Next, we'll discuss retagging the sections. You will be retagging the entire Revlon and entire Alme section. There are three places for tags. The first is obviously the price rail. Secondly, the bull nose flips up to reveal two rows where price tags can be placed. Start at the top and work your way from left to right and move to the second row until you have a tag for every item. You may also notice that some items are damaged in the section. Either they've arrived that way, you've accidentally damaged them during the installation, or they simply need to be replaced due to normal wear and tear. You will receive a form that should be filled out and left with store personnel. The form can be faxed in, or you can call and place your order. Remember to place orders for all brands at the same time to decrease shipping costs for the client. You can also order things like price rails, and you'll also want to outline the reason for the replacement request. Additionally, you can order parts for the lighting that is to be installed behind the header signs. This form should also be left with the store or faxed in. Remember to order all needed parts at the same time. When you're moving trays or resetting a section, one thing to note is to use a piece of cardboard at the front of the tray to hold all products in. Should you not do that, it becomes easier for products including lipstick and nail enamel to spill out of the tray, hit the floor, and break or be damaged. It also prevents you from having to pick up items that have been dropped. And with that, if you've followed all other instructions provided, you've completed your reset. Here we have the completed Revlon section, followed closely by the completed Almay section. Remember, it's critical that you also follow any supplemental instructions provided to you via JET. This video is a short guide, outlines some helpful tips, but should not be solely relied upon to execute a successful project. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for all that you do every day.